I kind of like the avians. They remind me of the Chozo from Metroid. Actually, a lot of things remind me of Metroid in this game. Freaking space unicorn narwhal rainbow horned freaks. I still have yet to see this creature that you speak of. They're just... What the hell? They're just walking around. I'm starting to think you should uh, lay off the uh, ace juice. But <laughs> ace juice is what makes me strong. Mm. It's made from only the finest ingredients. Okay, where where is this narwhal? Part one. The blood of the unborn. Part two. The tears of children. Where's Part the, three. The unicorn ace? Diet Pepsi. Oh, that is a. Oh. See, I told you, unicorn narwhal. Will you, freaking monsters, leave me a? F I need this titanium. Th this, this planet. I'm even wearing a hard hat. I'm gonna carry my sword around, and I'm gonna kill anything that comes in my path. Where that narwhal's at? Wait a minute, if you see him too, Jimmy, did you drink the ace juice? No. I'm just gonna catch a narwhal. But ace juice is good for you! God, they're everywhere! This planet's gorgeous, by the way. Wow, there are a lot of narfins. See? No, don't attack the human, Florin, whatever the hell that is, avian maybe? It's hard to tell, they're all pixels to me. Hi, Jimmy. I got a present for you. What's my present? Go! Narfin. Oh, dang, the Narfin actually does some decent damage. Get him, Narfin. Oh, Narfin died. You just lost your new pet? Ah, I just have to put him in a Healy station. Oh. Wait, can I catch that? Can I, I don't know. Robot? Oh god, there's more! There's more incoming. Fine. Oh, yeah. Anyway, we gotta kill a monster. There's the monster! There's the beast! Wait, is that... Whoa. I wanna catch it, though. <laughs> you cannot catch this, I'm sure. I don't know. I killed it. Where was the person that gave me that quest? You'll see a question mark over their head. Oh shit. And clanks were closing the door on me. There they are. Yeah. Oh. Okay. That was frustrating. Did they give you the thing? Yeah. Cool. Well, I just accepted that quest now, so now it's gonna respawn and I'm gonna catch this one. Oh, cool. It fires a sound like the hedgehog thing. What is up this tower? Nothing. Really? Yeah, basically. I will find the nothing and it will be mine. What? A diary. I found a diary. That was totally worth coming up here for. The bird people seem to be the most, um... Advanced. No, Apex are the most advanced, actually. Oh, well, I'm look at this die. big old chest up here, hidden away from Ace. There was? What's yeah. in it? I don't know. I haven't opened it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get it. It was not a chest. Huh? It's up here. Where? Oh! I can't get in. Is death out of the Skype call? It's a freaking drum! It's a decorative I, I, bongo! I put the chest there. Dickhead, I, I knew I didn't see that! Well, it's my chest now! Aw, enjoy your bongo. Hey Ace, do you have Rocket League? Mm, I don't know what that is, so probably not. 
don't know what Rocket League is? Nope. How do you not know what Rocket League is? Because I don't know what that is. Uh, it's that game that it's soccer but with cars. What? You seriously don't know what Rocket League is? You disappoint me. No, I don't. Do you know what Bosconian is? Bosconian? Yeah. Is that one of them Japanese weeb games? Nope. I don't know why you're like always assuming everything is weeb with me. I typically hate anime aside from a couple movies. Oh, fuck you. <laughs> what? How many good animes are there, really? I, I can Why? think of maybe three. I can think of at least 20. Alright, what are they? I really don't feel like listening. Okay, fine. Let me get out my list. There's, um... There was uh, Full Metal Alchemist. That one was actually pretty good. Uh, the first season of Death Note. Bleach had a promising idea, but they just turned into an Naruto clone, so I'm not counting that one. Attack on Titan. No, that was that was garbage. Anyway. Oh, you all don't know anime. Who anyway. shut the fuck up? Attack on Titan was popular just for the sake of being popular. It's like, oh, hey, look, it's a violent, it's a violent anime. I haven't seen one of those before. Okay, well, now you just. Oh yeah, this is a challenge room door. I love challenge rooms. They're awesome. <laughs> this game actually has some really solid platforming in it. Controls are really fluent. Oh, they did that on purpose. Cheeky buggers. Alright, what we got here? Oh. I wanna recruit an avian. Can you recruit species that are not your own? Yeah. See, I don't know, because I have three Florins on my crew, and Death, you abandoned me. You abandoned me. Well, here, here you go. I just, I just abandoned a, uh, I mean, not a, I just hired an, uh, avian. Boom. Hey, nice. what I found again. Wait a second. You found another one? A... Found something else. I was like it, yeah. Okay, let me uh, teleport to you again. There. Wait, what does an engineer do? I don't know. Maybe they work on your ship. No, I. You that's dickhead! What, uh... <laughs> what the hell's no. the matter with you? Mechanics work on your ship. I need to. What did he do? He spawned me in lava! Made me lose, like, a crap ton of my pixels! Cause he's in god mode, cause he's a cheater, cause he doesn't know how to have fun! Engineer. I'm good, screw it! I'm out! I'm going- oh, oh god, I hope I bookmarked Engineer, my place. that's the one that increases your fuel efficiency. Oh! That's actually pretty cool. It is good. And it's also infinite, so... Anyway, you want me to list off good shows? Oh yeah, go ahead. Okay. Let's see. What just happened? Uh, Dr. Death disconnected. Cool. Anyway. <clears throat> we have the Montagiri series, that one's really good. What's Erased. that about? Huh? What's that about? Uh, it's basically a Monster of the Week show, but it, instead of focusing on battles, it focuses on character development and dialogue. Oh, that actually does sound good. Yeah. Okay, what else you got? Okay, let's see. Erased is really good. What's that one about? So, in present time, a guy, um, one of his friends, well, not a friend, somebody he knew was murdered when they were like five years old. And then in present time, his mom gets killed by the same person. So then he goes, he gets sent back in time on accident somehow. <laughs> and he has to fix her murder so his mom doesn't get murdered either. Because the person who killed the kid killed his mom in the future as well. So it's the Flashpoint Paradox, but it's an anime. Um, not really Flashpoint Paradox, because he's the only... Mm, yeah, I guess, kind of. Flash, <laughs> Paradox, Flash goes back in time because his mom dies, right? Yeah, yeah, I'm so glad you actually got that obscure reference. Uh, yeah, I'd say so. Except instead of letting his mom die, he uh, does save his mom. Okay. 
Because doesn't when Flash gets his mom to not die, then doesn't like shit go horribly wrong? Yeah, I think that was. Yeah, it. Okay. You know what? That was actually um, better. The better movie than I expected it to be. No, it's really good. That's like the best animated DC movie. Um, what was the one? No, what was the one that had like Batman, Superman, that awesome Wonder Woman, Shazam of all people, all come together? Oh, the, the, and, like, the one with um, what's his name? The Thanos, but for DC. I, I Green Lantern as well. Yeah, that one where he says that Batman's a vampire, and then he's just no, I'm just Batman. Talking about that one. Yeah, he's he's, he's like, wait, do you have any real powers at all? And Batman just smiles at him, and he's like, are you freaking kidding me? Yeah, it's that one. I think it's called Doom. It's not Doomsday. No, whatever uh, it was, like, it was a good one. DC Thanos. Oh my Dark God. Side. Dark side. Yes. I just teleported to this new world, because I wanted to see what it was, and there's a... There's a building here. Yeah, with an hour dark. clock? Whatever this is... Anyway... It's a crude yeah, building, but it looks like it's built well. Raised is good. It's decent. Um... Hmm. The Chinibio show. Everyone loves that show. That's where the infamous gift comes from. I do not know what this is. The gif with the girl spinning her finger in circles. I'm assuming you've seen that. Uh, nope. Seen very little anime. Yeah, but I mean, it's posted on like every image board. Well, no, I've seen a lot of anime. I've seen very little um, recent anime, because... Dude, after well, Death Note, Code, they just had this time... Recent, what about Code Geass? What's the... What are these abandoned... These buildings look like they were recently abandoned. We already said Full Metal Alchemist, that's what I was gonna say. Um... Yeah, but not Brotherhood. I actually like the first series better. Fuck you. Anyway... No! No, the first series was more well-structured, the translations were better, and I like the ending more. I know it's not true to the original source material, but it's... In my opinion, I liked it more. Brotherhood was all over the place. Devil is a Part-Timer is a really good comedy series. Also one of the few shows that's really good in the dub. Let's see... Kill the Kill. If you're fine with lewdness in shows. Uh... I'm, I'm not fine with it, especially if it's for no reason whatsoever. Like, they just do it well, for the see, sake of doing it. It's actually... There's a difference because... There's thing, there's the thing called fan service, and then there is what you're just saying for no reason whatsoever. Well, even fan service is stupid. Like that, that to me is the sign of a show that's not compelling enough to gain a general audience, so they have to like sex everything up. Well, if you hate fan service, then you'll love Parasite, because there's none. That show is gripping. Basically, parasites are on Earth. Blah blah blah. They uh, basically enter into someone's bloodstream and then take over their body and like completely turn them into monsters. But this one kid, it accidentally only takes over his arm, so only his arm is monster-like. Oh god, is this so the one where the guy like turns into like a full huge monster? Uh, the villain or the main character? Main character. No, the main character, his arm is the only part that can turn into like a blade and stuff like that. It's really good. It, it turns into- it gets a little cheesy at the end, because it turns into, like, talking about the environment, but it's actually still really good. Ah, oh, jeez. There are very few different. environmental things that actually do it right. This show does it really well, actually, though. Uh, hmm. Kokoro Connect. See, a lot of these I've never even heard of. We Where am I supposed to like learn of this kind of stuff? Uh, I just find them. Where do you look, dude? Anytime I look to... List. What? There's such an oversaturation of anime these days, yes, it's hard there to... Is. It's hard you to find to anything good. I'm giving you a bunch of good ones for every good one. I have like 20 bad ones. But oh, I'm, I'm sure I can think of more than 20. Well, I'm just talking about ones I've completed. What is this? In particular, there's one show that pisses me off to no end. What is it? Uh, Samurai Flamenco. 
Another one I've never heard of. Okay, basically, I'll tell you, the premise is amazing, it'll make you want to watch it. What? What? So basically, so Ace. Hang on. Is this. I'm being attacked by avians. Fine, I'm gonna help you out so I can talk about how bad Samurai Fu Mango is. Because it pisses me off because it had so much potential. Okay. Well, basically, yeah, same this, with Bleach. This, uh, this supermodel guy, basically, he's tired of, like, living a high life and he wants to be, he, like, Hears about super he he watched like Power Rangers as a kid, so he wants to be a superhero. But he sucks at it. Oh mother fricker. So basically, he tries to like do justice by like punishing people for just like basic crimes like littering and loitering, because he's just trying to be like a hero or whatever. Yeah. And so you just get numerous scenes of just beat being beaten up by like twelve year olds because he's yelling at them. So it's just and so the show's really good. He starts getting better. He gets like someone who trains him in martial arts and stuff. And so you're thinking, oh, it's gonna become a darker, grittier show. It's gonna be good. It starts developing like character development. And then on the seventh episode, he he's cornered a drug dealer guy. He takes a pill and he turns into a gorilla with a guillotine for a stomach. What? What? Yeah, yeah. And so the show basically uh, turns into a traditional Power Rangers type show, you know, with like the weird monsters and the stupid poses and shit. Yeah. And so, Samurai Flamenco died in my opinion. Oh, is it she attacking? Dark, Wait, don't kill- It went from like a realistic gritty show to uh... No, man, Power Ranger shit. Pissed me off, because I wanted the... Well, because before I started watching it, people were telling me not to take it seriously, and I was like, oh, okay, I won't. But then it kind of, like, got me into it. I've officially been attacked by more freaking avians than I have Florins, and that's a bad thing. Oh, you're in one of these. these. This is what I was talking about. These buildings suck. There's, like, three treasure chests in the entire thing. And it's just a bunch of open space, darkness, and angry bird people. Yeah, it's not even really worth being in here. I want to find whatever. Uh, now that I'm in here, I'm devoted to stealing whatever stuff they have. Because I'm pissed. Yeah, Samurai Flamenco, good for the first seven, ep seven episodes. After that, it. Ugh. Oh, jeez. Avians are not the greatest at combat, I'll tell you that. Okay, what's up with the ones that just stand there? Yeah, one that's definitely pretty universally liked is uh, Code Geass. I've heard that name. It is amazing. It has one of the most conclusive endings of all hmm. shows. The issue is now they're making a third season and people are like, oh shit, I like ruin everything. Yeah. Because the show ended nine years ago and they're making a sequel now. I think I'd rather have a show end and turn to shit, like have a yes, planned yeah. ending and turn to shit, than be cancelled before it had a chance to be great. You know? So everyone's just hoping that they don't screw things up. Uh, Kona Soup is another amazing comedy. Most of the time for comedies I have to watch the dub, otherwise I won't find it funny. But this show is actually just you can sub, I loved it. Oh, Mob Psycho. That's a recent one. Just like the past five months. It's basically like a Punch Punch Man. You've seen one Punch Man, please don't watch it. I gave it a chance, I didn't like it. I don't like it. Nah, whatever. I just thought it was boring. I guess. I guess it. it I, I probably would have watched it um, if there weren't much better shows going on at the time it was coming out. How about the actual clusterfuck that is Neon Genesis Evangelion? What is that? Basically, I, um, evil alien things called angels are invading the planet. We created created giant mechas to fight them. But the only people who can pilot them are these certain people. And let's just say one of the pilots really doesn't want to do it. He's a little bitch. And that's the premise. Also, the show's confusing as hell. It's good, though. 
Okay, so now we've got a Pacific Rim anime. Oh, Food Wars is amazing. You wouldn't like that though, because it's got the whole loot thing going on. Yeah. Uh -huh. It just, you know how there's the whole, you know, shonen genre of just like people, like the stereotypical fighting, getting stronger, power of friendship, shit like that? Yeah. Imagine that, but fight, instead of fighting, it's cook-offs. That would be boring to me. The only cooking thing that's ever interested me is Ratatouille. It was a good movie. Uh, yeah, I know it was. Just, I think that's the only ever cooking thing that's interested me. Well, yeah, dude, I am so not into cooking. At, like, at all. Wait, well, see, I love food. Not cooking, but I love food. And the animation in Food Wars is so good, and all the food is just, like, extremely appetizing. I don't like food. I don't like food, what's wrong with that? I didn't find anything good in this temple. As I was saying, avian temples suck. Yeah, they do. Also, avians are... D-heads. Oh, if you like the movies, instead of shows, Summer Wars is good. Uh, in terms of movies, I like the, um... The Miyazaki ones best. I don't know, I, I guess I don't like all Miyazaki things, cause... Some of his stuff can honestly be really boring. Like, I, it would be- they'd be masterpieces for people who like slice-of-life things like that, but... Dude, you have to be amazing at your job- like, more than amazing. You have to be godlike for me to like something that's like slice-of-life. I've enjoyed quite a few shows like that. Yeah, I typically don't. I don't know, I like- I like most of the genres. I, think the I guess the I, I guess the issue with like slice of life stuff is like unrelatable characters, because it's like any of their pro every day to day problems. It's just like you know what you're being stupid. You're you're just like I don't know the whole like thinking with emotions before logic thing is what turns me off of it. And I know that's supposed to be like basic human nature, but it's it, it's I just think they're stupid. I'm trying to think though, what was a slice of life thing that was interesting? Well, see, even when there's a slice of life thing, there's like something supernatural in it. Uh, like, um, um. If you like that type of thing, Kokoro Connect is slice of life, but with supernatural, as I said before, it's really good. Basically, and a lot of it, it's, uh. Some demonic being basically possesses one of their teachers, and he makes it so that they switch minds, like every. randomly. Mm, so that'd be interesting, like, actually. It's a good idea. See, yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a really good show. Anime has... Even the bad anime TV shows have some great have ideas premises, that yeah. would do amazing in the West if, like, someone with talent picked up the ideas. Yeah, but that's that's one thing about the medium for anime as a whole. Is it's, the premises are always really interesting. Yeah, but then they're just garbage. And you know why? It's because, frickin', you can never do well in anime unless you're, like, the top-rated show. Like, if you're not, like, in the top charts, you're going to lose your show after one or two seasons at best. And, unfortunately, to be, like, highly rated, most animes resort to being super violent needlessly. I'm looking at you, Attack on Titan. Or they just sex up everything. I'm looking at you, everything Some else. Some shows do extreme violence really well, such as Parasite yes. and Helsing Ultimate. But when there's, like, no point to it, it's dumb. Also, Attack on Titan, I think the reason I couldn't get into it was because, um... They barely established the world they were in before all chaos broke loose. I need to care I about to, the uh, world... Convey the sense of urgency. I haven't even seen the show, though, so... Like, Last Airbender took the time to set up the characters, right? They, they had their pilot basically be two episodes in one. They gave it enough time for you to get to know them and like them before anything serious happened. You should watch Kokoro Connect, though. It's really good. Yeah. It's one of I'll my have to favorites. remember to do that. Um, the dub is good. Just one character is kind of... I don't like the voice of one character. Hmm. It's yeah. just a voice actor I don't like in general. Jeebus, you guys are coming into my town! You know what? Flamethrower time. 
Oh my god, are you serious? Oh, dude! I was too busy fighting to know that you are some but ugly kinda ugly. Oh! Medics. That's weird. I know, it's not my fault the first two people who wanted to join me were Florin medics. And you didn't bring them with you? No, it's my homeworld. I didn't expect to be attacked by bandits. Are those bandits? No, no, these are my residents. Don't kill them. I don't think I can. Yeah, I got no, a reward bag. Why do you have monkey residents? I don't know. It doesn't- I don't get to choose what kind of residents I get. They just appear out of nowhere. Who is this? You have a merchant? Yeah. Compared to, like, the first episode of, um... Starbound I did, my planet's barely recognizable anymore from all of the, uh, renovating I've done. Well, my... My ship has a fashion wardrobe room in it, so ha! Huh? I need a fash- I need a tailor, because they allow you to customize the outfits of your crew. Oh, cool. I want to give everyone- I want to give everyone afros. Yeah, I want to see what Skullhead looks like under his mask. These beautiful penguins. What beautiful penguins? Do you not see them marching behind me? Oh, oh. yeah. Anyway, I'll show you the Florin village if you don't destroy it. Their buildings are so not designed for, like, the sandstorms that we get here. I have to dig them out each time. Wait. There are sandstorms here? Yeah, it, and it, like, buries their houses under sand, and I have to come in and clean it up. Florin. Why do you want to recruit, recruit a Florin? I thought you hated Florins. Exactly. Slave labor. Don't accept the ones that ask you to grow things. Take it from me, it's a pain in the ass. Oh my god, if I have to rescue these guys from the Apex one more time. Frick off, oh. Firefox! Oh, actually, it's a floor. Oh, I can't. Oh, that's my shit. Wait a minute. Oh, he's a good guy. Jimmy? What? I have another Florin medic that wants to join me. I'll take him instead. She already joined my crew. Oh my god. I need a bigger ship, according to... Ship? <laughs> His name is Sail. Sail? Oh! Ow, that part of my arm is sore. I need four upgrade modules. Modules? I need modules. I'm gonna talk to the dude, get a bigger ship, and be happy. Where am I? Um, I think I missed my jump by about yeah. a million light years. <laughs> Dang, dude, your ship is, um, quite extensive. God, and the sad thing is, I know this isn't even close to a full-size human ship. I don't need three medics if I can... Oh, well. I wish we could trade, I would give you one of my engineers. Yeah, I'd take that. I have too many. Well, time to upgrade my ship again. Already. Are the ship upgrades done? Okay. Wow, that was a pretty big upgrade. So, before my internet decides to, you know, do what it does normally... You mean die? Shut up. Whatever this happens, what have you guys been up to in the past, like, 20 hours I've been gone? I recruited another Florin medic. Oh, that's cool. Okay, you're gonna need to wear headphones, death by sound, if you're gonna be on Skype. Yeah, and this is why I told you I can't be on Skype. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> that microphone! Mike! <laughs> Good God! Hey, Afro Coconut Bra, where in God? <laughs> <coughs> God, I can't deal with these two things at once right now. Death, stop!